Hello there and welcome back to the Master Moldy channel. I've got another drawer unit since the last video and I have to say it's pretty intimidating having both of them towering over me. But keep an eye out on the shorts if you fancy a look into some of the new Animal Crossing sets in the future. Speaking of which, we've got images and actually there are some reviews coming out of Jedi Bob's Starfighter. It's a bit pricey of a set, considering it only comes with two minifigures and a gonk, which I've realized over recent years, Lego is starting to include as another minifigure. I'm not sure if this is just because of the rebuild, the galaxy. I'm pretty sure we saw the gonk on the box art of the tire bomber. There was a resistant transport a few years ago that also included the gonk as a minifigure. And I can't help but feel that they're just taking away the opportunity for another minifigure. I would have loved to have seen a sixes in that set, which is a play on the name fives, and it was just a misremembered clone from a book, if you weren't aware. But I feel like having a phase one clone trooper already available in a battle pack, which is 25 plus percent off for most people on Amazon and a few other stores. In fact, I saw it the other day, 35% off. It was 16 quid and I was so tempted to purchase a couple, but I thought I'd wait because if it's already down from £25 to £16, what are the Black Friday deals? What are the Christmas deals? Black Friday next year, the set is still going to be around. That is going to be going for £15 perhaps, and that is the prime time to stock up on a ton of them. Any better than that, I'll definitely be grabbing quite a few. But for £40, comes with a modified Delta Starfighter. It's not officially a Delta, but it does look like Anakin's from the Tartakovsky Clone Wars. Two minifigures, a gonk. The gonk is amazing, by the way. I have the gonk to show off for this video, but I just feel like we're not getting our money's worth. Loads of people will be saying Jedi Bob is our money's worth, and they'll be happy at that. He's got a bit of worn printing on his torso, and his beard, I think, on the right side's a bit rough where the printing perhaps has also worn away but we just got kenobi's delta for three quarters of the price it came with two minifigures and an astromech astromech gonk that's fair enough we can whack them in the same category but that was so much more worth the money that that had a bit more weight to it i think and i'd be surprised if we get the new set there's a bunch of big pieces which add up to that 40 pounds in wait but when i do eventually pick it up because i would really like a jedi bob i'll probably pick it up if it goes on a half price sale anytime soon but unless it's half off anywhere i'll probably pick it up for about 30 pound i think that's a decent price for that set so it shouldn't be too long till we're seeing those deals but i will wait i will get the price per gram as we do here on the channel much better than price per piece because it depends on the size of the average piece. But today we're going to be building the Gonk Army. That is probably the longest intro I have done in a long time. And not only are we building a Gonk Army, but I actually have a representation of every single Gonk Lego have made. Minifigure Scout, of course. I'm not counting the big robotic one they did in about 2019, I think it was. Nor the one that they sent out to ambassadors that... It's just a simple brick built puzzle, but I can't find the instructions on it. I don't think Lego have given out any instructions on it. So that would be near impossible to build. And I'm not paying thousands for something that someone's already played with and a bunch of used Lego bricks that I'm just going to break down after the video. But I do have a representation of one of every gonk droid. There's only actually two gonk droids that I don't have in my collection. Well, two gonk droids and a printed tile, but let's take a look at the full collection. In fact, this is officially the first time that all these gonks have been seen in the first frame, including our brand newest member of the gonk army servo. This is the gonk droid from the brand new Jedi Bob Starfighter. It looks pretty cool, I can't lie, but it also doesn't look special enough for the price tag of the set. It's a really nice gonk actually and it reminds me of one of my favorite gonks in this collection and I'm pretty sure this must have been in some sort of Lego game. I remember this very very fondly 
but I didn't have the set growing up. Most of these gonks I have built out myself and don't have the set. I had all the Advent ones, the Bad Bad Shuttle, and I guess the recent ones I have had. But this gonk here, well, let's go in order from the beginning. So you'll notice that these do not have the printed front and they're actually in light gray rather than dark gray. But these were the first two gonks Lego ever made and I think this is the same one that we get in the complete saga game well at least in the original trilogy one which I guess came first now the reason I haven't ordered these parts is because this one was dark grey and came in the sand crawler I do believe and the second one would have been dark bluish grey it's the only time that Lego has made both a dark grey and a dark bluish grey version of this mailbox. Recently we've seen it in red and transparent for the Animal Crossing letterbox and the oven, but we don't really see too many of these. So I managed to get a grey one. I'm pretty sure I had a grey body for this, but I don't know where it went because I remember piecing these out ages ago from some of my other sets. So the first one we got in 2003, 21 years ago. It's almost as old as Jedi Bob. It's only a year younger than the original Jedi Bob. And the second one in 2005, which is why they are so rare. Then in 2012, Lego gave us this gonk. Quite simplistic, to be honest. I like the way that they've made the bottom half with one by twos instead of just a two by two brick, I guess. They probably, it was, it was easier because they used the one by two up the top here, but that is quite funny now. This is the gonk that's missing the printed towel on the front. Again, the printed towel didn't only come in this gonk. I'm pretty sure there was another set, 2014. Perhaps it was one of the Force Awakens sets. I think it was an X-Wing cockpit piece that they used it for. And I do want to pick up that set, not only for this, but I think it was the one that came with Law Santeca and one of the Flame Troopers, which are both really, really cool figures. So I'll be keeping my eye out for that if I go to well, when I go to any more conventions or secondhand Lego stores. Now, this is my favourite one here from 2016. It just looks really, really cool. I guess it's less like a gunk they've done in the past. These were all dark grey, dark grey, light grey. What you typically see on screen. This is more of a... I think this probably come in a sand crawler because this reminds me of some of the gonks we see on the sand crawler in A New Hope. Then in 2019, they introduced the gonk to the Lego Advent Calendar for Star Wars. It's meant to be a present. It's very reminiscent of the year before, but you'll notice they did switch up the front. This is how the instructions were. It's just really interesting to know. I guess they wanted it to come across different. Now we have the gonk power droid from that robotic set that no one remembers i think there was a gonk there was a mouse and there was r2 this is actually from the gift with purchase for it again i didn't purchase it but all using very common pieces the only ones i don't have are the light bluish gray legs which i instead have in white but the main body of the gonk is as it should be now this is from 2020 we're going forward a year you'll notice we've had 2003 2005 2012 14 16 19 and now we're basically getting a gonk every year. In fact, we are getting a gonk every year. This is 2020. This come with the Resistance Bomber, which is based off a of Galaxy's Edge ride, I believe. I don't really know much about it. There's been a few games from Galaxy Edge, so perhaps it could have featured in one of them. And in the same year, we got our second gonk in the advent in a row. And it is pretty nice. It's a snowman gonk. I don't know why they went with the green arms instead of the brown for sticks, but it is really, really cool. There are some tiles as well that you really question how they come to use these pieces, but perhaps they were used somewhere else in the advent. Then we get on to Gonky, which is the only named Gonk, well, besides Festive Gonk, Snowman Gonk, Santa Gonk, and Reindeer Gonk. It's the only other named Gonk in Lego's list so far, and that is purely because they haven't added Servo to the list. I mean, the set's not officially meant to come out until August, so I'm very happy to have at least the Gonk in my hands early because it is really, really cool. Uh, Gonky came in the Bad Batch Shuttle in 2021. Then 2022, the only Gonk we had was this festive Santa one. I didn't pick up this advent, actually. It was a really cool advent, and 
I do slightly regret not picking it up. The R2 and 3PO jumpers were really, really cool. We also got the controversial Summer Vader. But the figure that makes me regret it the most is actually the Clone Lieutenant or Commander that we get in the set. In 2023, last year, we got the TIE Bomber and that introduced us to this gonk here, which I have actually made a few more of, but we'll get into that in just a second. And then we got the reindeer gonk in the advent. Now we also got a magazine paper poly bag, and I believe it's the only place this gonk shows up, but they are built with such common pieces that I actually built three more. Well, two of these I got in the magazine because me and my fiance picked up one, but then I built two more from my parts bins and actually built two more of the gonk from the bomber so I could really beef up my army and I probably will be displaying these on the shelf with the rest because these gonks here use the crates that I got in the UCS Moss. I keep calling it UCS, the Master Builder Series Moss Isley Cantina. Now having Servo in my hands is... Well, it's just not as special as some of the other gonks. Like the Imperial gonk we got in the TIE Bomber is the first time we got one with the insignia on the side. And it's a really cool gonk. It's got a feature so you can store things in it. This one just doesn't have the feature. And I guess we don't have the official set. So I've used a 2x2 two two brick. Perhaps that could be some sort of storage container for a grenade. And will probably get attached to Servo when the series movie, the special, comes out. But these Rebuild the Galaxy sets are seeming very expensive for something that LEGO are making themselves. This isn't necessarily a Star Wars tax because they're using the characters in the show. And yes, for someone like Darth Rey, they probably did have to get a license to use the character as she did show up in Rise of Skywalker. But Darth Jar Jar is a brand new character. We've also got Beach Luke, or Beach Dad Luke, as the community is dubbing him. We got the McDonald's droid, which is literally called Lego. That is a 100% Lego. And then we've got, we've got the Griebling guy. We've got, I don't remember any of their names. Hopefully I will by the time I get to picking up any of the sets because the Falcon looks cool. And the Falcon comes with Darth. There's another minifigure in the Falcon, but I really don't remember any of their names. They're very expensive sets. Jedi Bob is fair enough. They're trying to get all the diehard fans to pick it up day one and get the extra 10 up before they probably end up reducing them later this year. Especially if like last year, the Christmas diorama was only around for a few months. We don't know the shelf life of these Rebuild the Galaxy sets. For all we know, they could retire at the end of the year, but I highly doubt it because of all the core cool figures like the Infinities Vader, I don't know if they did get the license because it's not Disney owned, but Darth Vader himself is still a Star Wars character. There's got to be some license in there, but I'm happy to add Servo to my Gonk army. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button as well as subscribe. Let me know your favorite Gonk down in the comments below and check out all the videos on screen. May the bricks be with you always.